Hey guys, welcome back to another week. What's well, the beginning of the week for me? It's currently Monday, but I realise it'll be the end of the week for you. Yay for Friday. Although it doesn't matter what day it is, you know? Time is just an illusion. And also, I believe because of the way that I'm scheduling these videos, it'll also be Valentine's Day, if I've got that correct. So, happy Valentine's Day to you. I hope you're doing something really nice, whether it's with a loved one, maybe you have a date, maybe you're already with somebody, or maybe you're just having some time to yourself, you know, I'm all about the self-love, that's more important than anything. So yeah, have a great day, whatever you're doing. I have just finished baking, my cakes are cooling, you might be able to see some of them there. It's fairly cold in here, to be honest, so they won't take that long to cool. And I will layer them up, get them in the fridge, I let them chill down for a little bit so that they're ready for the next stage of icing. I've had a pretty productive start to this month. January was like super productive. I think I'm gonna put you down a bit easier. There we go, back in my spot. Yeah, I've really achieved a lot in January and I'm quite proud of myself. I think it is a good time for like doing admin and just getting on top of all those things whilst it's a little bit quieter, although it did turn out to be pretty hectic. But in the past, I've often found it quite tough because my mood isn't always that good. I don't know, I think it's just like the cold and the dark, it can affect you. So I've learned to kind of take it a little bit easier and just be kinder to myself and chill out a bit. This year has been different because I've just been on it and I've been quite motivated, which is nice. It's just like, go, go, go. I've been keeping up to date with like my blog while well, I started up my blog again, which was, a big thing for me because I've been meaning to do it for ages, I've sent out newsletters, I've been doing my videos as well which again it's something I really want to keep on top of and push forward this year so I'm really pleased with everything that I've done and I kind of want to keep it up for February and onwards for the rest of the year. However, although all this work and productivity has been great, I'm enjoying myself, I did notice that I got a little bit anxious and agitated yesterday. I met up with a new friend actually, we went out for tea, it was really lovely, we got on well, we were chatting for quite a long time, like an hour passed, it was great, an hour and a half passed really nice. Then I started to notice my mind like wandering a little bit. Got to two hours and I started to get like really kind of itchy feet. Like I wanted to get up, I wanted to do something. My mind was like ticking over all the different things that I had to do. I was like, oh my gosh, I probably had like a load of emails come in. I need to go and check. I need to reply to stuff. I need to do my social media. Um, and yeah, my anxiety levels just kind of shot up and I was just completely tuning out. She probably noticed, she probably thought I was being a little bit rude. I wasn't, I was just struggling a little bit and this is how I get sometimes. I've noticed a lot with people after about an hour and that's probably because I'm used to spending so much time on my own. Like I do everything on my own, I run my business on my own, I live on my own and yeah, it's, it's almost like I struggle to talk for long periods of time, which a lot of people might find strange because obviously I do a lot on my videos and stuff and I probably seem like a very confident, chatty person, but I am actually very introverted. In the end, I was just honest with her and I said, I'm really sorry, I have to go now, like I've just got some stuff that I needed to do and she was totally, cool with that, you know, and I think sometimes it's best just to be honest and upfront with people rather than making up some kind of excuse. So that was fine and it's okay to do that sometimes. I guess what I did think though was maybe this is a little bit of an issue, this workaholic within me because again when I got home I still felt kind of agitated, I felt like I hadn't done anything productive and that I needed to get a load of stuff done and I just needed to like run around and just do stuff. But yeah, it was a Sunday and I thought, you know what, I've worked really hard all week, 
maybe I should just have this day to chill out but I was really struggling to do that and relax so I sort of started all these different tasks and I was jumping between one and the other and I didn't really feel that I was doing anything productive I just was almost tricking myself into thinking that I was doing something productive and then I opened up my emails again for probably like the 20th time that day and I clicked on one and it wasn't something that I really wanted to read on a Sunday night and I just went spiralling downwards like in all this negativity I just felt pretty awful for the rest of the night I ended up chatting to my mum for about an hour about it and I'll maybe talk about it in next week's vlog this is where I probably do just need to learn to stop and practice more kind of relaxation techniques because although I like to keep on top of things, keep on top of my email, it almost makes me feel less stressed but because I kept checking and I was doing it late at night, even though after that I kind of shut it all down, I was like that's it now, I'll close down my computer, I then wasn't really able to enjoy my evenings, I had all this stuff on my mind and my mind was literally racing the whole evening and as you guys know I practice meditation a lot I do it every single day it's helped me massively and I'll continue to do it for the rest of my life but it's these times that are the most challenging and I was really struggling to shut off the stream of thoughts eventually after a couple of hours like I calmed down a little bit but it was still there and even when I was lying in bed it was still there and when I woke up in the morning all these thoughts were just there. I realised that was a very long-winded way of explaining things, but I know that I need to start implementing some new rules, particularly when it comes to my emails. I did delete the email app off my phone, like, probably a couple of years ago now, because it kept pinging and it was triggering a lot of stress and anxiety, so now I just have notifications off on everything and I feel like my life is so much calmer. However... I do find myself like constantly opening my email throughout the day like I don't know how many times probably hundreds of times it's ridiculous it's like I can't bear the thought of lots of emails coming in and them all piling up but although it's good to keep on top of it and I feel like I'm being productive it's probably meaning that I'm less productive in other areas and of course it makes my mind even more busier and it's very hard to switch off in the times when I actually want to take a little break from things. I was thinking maybe three times a day, like morning, lunchtime and night, but I don't think that's going to work. I don't think I'll be able to check my email that fewer times. I know that I'll want to do it more, particularly as I don't have a phone for the business, so I do like to respond pretty quickly to people. So I'll have a think about that one. What is important is to have like a set list of things that you're going to do for the day like that are priority and sticking to that without getting distracted because there are constant distractions throughout our day and we can't really always avoid them you know no matter what we do so it takes a lot of mental discipline to be honest and I've become quite good at it. Now and again I slip up and you know I find myself procrastinating and I want to like click on Instagram and have a little scroll and stuff but as soon as I notice myself doing that I'm like huh okay Claire stop this get back to your priorities you know so it's, it's a balance of discipline but also being kind to yourself. I'm not sure where I left this one because I think 
my battery might have died so it probably ended quite abruptly but it's Thursday now as usual it turned out to be a hectic week so I've mostly been in the kitchen however I'm taking a little bit of a breather today I decided not to do any baking so I came in this morning to finish decorating a couple of cakes and basically since then I've just been getting on top of a few things and cleaning up and sorting and um, preparing myself for the weekend really not that I've got any major plans I'll probably be back here actually because I've got cakes going out at the beginning of next week so I need to make sure that I take a break maybe tomorrow or Saturday uh, to kind of refresh myself before I start again <laughs> I'm doing quite well with like not checking my email as much. I think I probably checked it four, maybe five times today. That's not too bad. And I feel calmer as a result of it, you know. It's definitely good not to do it so much. Like, my days have been more productive. I, <laughs> I'm just looking around at my shop and realised that I was supposed to be decorating it for Valentine's. It's Valentine's today, isn't it? Uh, well, that never really happened. I sort of half decorated it and there are still snowflakes up. This is the thing when you're running a business, like so many things to do and yeah, you kind of have to prioritise what's important. So maybe I'll skip on to Easter. I'll uh, show you what's going on in the kitchen. Not a lot, actually. I've finished in the kitchen today, um, but I have this carrot cake here and I had just made some mini little carrots to go on it. This is actually a vegan carrot cake. I'm doing a lot of vegan cakes at the moment uh, which I've talked about on my channel. I'm going to be doing more videos about them, how to make them, the science behind it if you've checked out my new series so watch out for all of that and if you've got any questions in relation to that that would be very much appreciated. This vlogging thing is difficult because believe it or not I'm not really a big talker. Uh, I do find it very hard. I get quite self-conscious and I'm always like oh my god I don't know what to film. Like I feel like my life isn't exciting enough because I'm literally just here all the time running my business. I get home, I do all my admin, I like work on myself, I learn, I listen to audiobooks, I read books, like all of that kind of stuff. Um, so it's sometimes difficult to know what to talk about. So it's nice when I do get some kind of direction. Um, so I ask if you have anything you want to know about starting a business, running a business, whether it is a cake making business or something else. Happy to help when I can. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about. And I'll end up babbling on about something really random like the weather. But what do you wanna see more of from me? That'd be really helpful to know actually. I've decided against doing like cake decorating tutorials. Like now and again, I might do, but it's just not very convenient right now. And since I'm making cakes, as a business for customers like having to film and show the process at the same time it doesn't really work like I have to put my full concentration on the cake rather than the filming so that's why I'm not doing it and there's so much of that stuff out there however anything else that you want to see or for me to talk about then let me know we're heading towards spring now and days are getting lighter which makes it oh my phone's ringing one sec Sorry, that was my mother. She's doing paperwork. She runs a business as well. She's like, oh, I don't want to do this paperwork. That's probably why she was phoning me. Um, so, yeah, okay. Well, I was ending this vlog, so I guess I'll end it. See you sometime next week. Bye, guys.